Today we're going to look at automation for SQL Server 2017 on Linux. Now, as things stand today, it's currently a preview release and not ready for production, but the production release is coming shortly, so we're expecting that that will be out any time now. In order to reduce the amount of time for an installation, I've already gone ahead and created a installation script using Ansible which some of you may remember from my earlier videos is my preferred scripting tool for Linux. Now, it must be said that I did have some problems creating the installation within in Sybil. Um, this was mostly down to the configuration of packages being required, such as the accept license agreement. So in the end, I decided to use the raw command and basically just process the raw Linux commands where necessary to get around a lot of the installation hassle that I was experiencing. Now, with that said, you basically have a couple of steps. First, you need to add the Microsoft repositories, which is pretty simple in itself, but keep in mind that each element of SQL Server requires its own repository. The tools have a different repository from the SQL Server itself. Same goes for other elements. Um, so you might need to add several steps in there to get all the repositories added. Uh, number two, you need to update the list of repositories and get them up to date. So that's the apt update command as usual. Then you have the download of the SQL Server itself as a package, which is actually quite pretty straightforward and particularly from an Ansible point of view. And then you have the installation. So the installation part is where I'd like to draw your attention to the uh, command there. Now, don't worry if you can't read it on your screen or you're not able to zoom in because of the YouTube video quality. Uh, that's perfectly fine. I have already uploaded it to GitHub, so you can go take a look at the script and you'll find it in the link below. So there you have it, a SQL Server installation on Linux uh, using Ansible automation in just under two minutes. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please give us a like. And if you like more of what we're doing, um, hit that subscribe button.